Here's a quick confession. I used to be a full-blown Notion disciple. I completely drank the Kool-Aid from some of my favorite YouTubers who convinced me that this is what productivity is supposed to look like. And for a while, I loved it until it started becoming a full-time job just to maintain my system. But then I discovered craft and it changed everything. Over the past year, I rebuilt my entire productivity setup inside it from business to content to family life. And today I wanted to show you the whole thing. If you're trying to simplify your tools, but still stay on top of a lot, this could be what you're looking for. Now, fair warning, this is gonna be a deep dive. So I'm gonna leave timestamps below if you wanna skip to the bit you're most interested in, but make sure to stick around right to the end for an awesome exclusive offer. In terms of the big picture, this is a system that I use to run three businesses as well as keep my family life from collapsing into chaos. And I wanted to show you the building blocks of that system, including how I use things like daily notes, task management, how I set up project spaces, calendar integration, notes, writing, content, and now tags, which is a brand new feature and a bit of a game changer. Let's get into it. Let's kick off with daily notes. Now, I wasn't quite sure about these when I started out, but now I use them, well, daily. Those of you who are into bullet journaling or something like morning pages will recognize this. It's a space that I start the day with over in calendar view, and it allows me to dump all of my stuff into it and then use it as a springboard to work from. I actually made this into a template, by the way, so you can grab it for yourself. It's completely free, no strings attached. Just follow the link below and you can copy it into your setup too, and then customize it to suit your workflow however you like. In my case, this includes listing the most important thing I need to do each each day, any secondary tasks, and also some nice to haves. With the best will in the world, I think having two to three big things to do each day is both achievable and also stops that horrible process of feeling overwhelmed by too many to do's. Now these nice to haves inevitably get lost, but sometimes I'm having a particularly productive day and I can just blitz through them for some extra quick wins. Uh, I'm quite a visual person, so I've broken this up into visual blocks for structure so it's not a boring to-do list. Craft do give you lots of ways to do this from having tape or squiggles as separators rather than just lines or having little cards or different theme pages which peek through from your top view. It's a really gorgeous app to spend time in. Now, my daily note template, I also have a space for capturing any quick notes or thoughts that jump into my head as I'm writing all of this down. And sometimes I just upload them as an audio file if I'm on my phone, but usually I'm in the desktop app and I just type them out. Now you'll notice in this daily view, Craft automatically shows me any tasks that are carried over from previous days up at the top, which is great. I sometimes think of additional tasks too, either when I'm doing this or throughout the day, which I can then capture in this section here. And then assigned with a due date and then they'll automatically show up in my task section. A craft does have a calendar which reads in appointments from my other calendar feeds but sometimes I just find it helpful to have on screen any intentional time that I've set aside for meetings or deep work or any other commitments. This just makes it super easy for me to keep this daily note open through the day and then not find myself hopping around between areas when I'm getting all my work done. And then finally I've got some daily habits that I'm working on. These often change but I can keep a track of them over here as well as a space for reflection at the end of the day. I do find this is a helpful thing to spend five minutes or so doing at the end of the day to clear the path for tomorrow and it also helps me spot patterns about what I'm doing and what I could improve. I just wanted to show you the new web clipper that Craft have just released. This has quietly but very quickly become one of my favorite features. You can grab articles, recipes, links, ideas and they can be sent straight to your inbox for sorting out or a specific place in your craft system. I often just send stuff to unsorted and then I figure out where it is to go later. This is the main way that I collect inspiration, research and reference material without breaking my flow or feeling overwhelmed by having loads of browser windows open at once in case I might miss something. And if I'm on my iPhone or my iPad, I can just use the share sheet function in a very similar way to send things that I wanna keep into my craft setup. So earlier I mentioned that I run three businesses using this system. One is my own consulting company. Another is a psychology firm that I work with. And the other is this YouTube channel. I've got these split off into 
to different areas here depending on where I'm spending my time on any given day. So obviously there is stuff that I can't show you in here due to client confidentiality, but broadly I keep things in these workspaces like meeting notes, transcripts from calls with coaching clients, presentation materials, and also details about projects that I might be working on. I also use tags and daily notes to cross link between those different areas as sometimes I might be working on a newsletter piece that I might want to then repurpose in my consulting role. And that might give me an idea for a YouTube video a bit later down the line. That's why I find it so helpful to have this daily note brain dump at the start of each day. It really helps me make links between these different areas of my life. Another thing I wanted to show you was that if I have my iPad with me, I can make handwritten notes easily for meetings or creative brainstorming sessions. And if I'm also recording the audio, I can use the transcription feature to add this all together in one document and then ask Crafts AI to do me a summary. It's just a really nice way to not have to have multiple versions of a meeting in lots of different places. Uh, someone asked a comment the other day about how to differentiate between pages and cards. The short answer is, well, functionally, there isn't really much of a difference. It's mainly about style. So let's say you wanted to have a Kanban style setup for a project. You could have each of these little sub pages as a page, which look like this and come with a selection of quite minimal styles. Or you could have them as cards, which look like this, and they come with lots of other very different styles. It's up to you. And if you watched my previous video on craft, you might be wondering where the fast productivity system that I showcased there has gone well. I essentially have set that up inside each of these areas so I know where immediate files and documents are, actions kind of take care of themselves in the task space, storage is all my archive stuff that I don't need to use right now but I might need later, and then triage generally lives in this unsorted folder before I eventually move it away somewhere else in my system. The one space that I am very happy to show you around is my YouTube planning space. So people don't often realize this, but there is so much that goes into managing a YouTube channel. Obviously there is the content itself. So I have got a space here to capture and develop ideas and scripts and also capture my finished thumbnails and title concepts along with any analytics that I might care about. I've also got a space for learning as being self-taught. I'm always trying to improve how I do all of this. I also need to be super organized to make sure that the brands that I work with have got all their deadlines met. So often I will just create tasks that go with each project and these will then show up on my calendar to give me a good idea of what I need to plan each day and what my publishing schedule looks like. These then automatically show up on my daily notes when I'm doing my morning planning. So they're never out of mind and I've usually got a pretty fair idea of what I'm working on on any given week. I also use tags to track the production stage of each video so that I can filter out where I am at any point from any screen in the app by using the pinned tag system back over on the homepage. And there's also the commercial side of this business. So I do have to keep a record of all the various affiliate links and codes to share with people when I'm listing those products that feature in these videos. There is no one app that collates all of this and I'm probably signed up to about 30 different affiliate pages. So I just have this massive database set up for this in Craft. Uh, Craft called these collections. And it just makes it really easy for me to easily log in and access these and know what my commission rates are with each brand. And then finally, there's all the really boring stuff, all my tax documents and receipts. Plus I have got a record of all the contracts I've got in place with different companies that I'm working with and their invoicing terms so that I can get paid whenever I've delivered the work. You know, do you see what I mean? There's so much that goes into running this channel. And when I started out, I didn't really have much of this stuff in one place, but laying it all out like this is what finally helped me stay ahead of all the chaos. I also mentioned that I use craft to manage my family life and personal things. And to be honest, this is a bit more chaotic. I just take the view that if I need to find it, it will probably be in this area and I can just use a search to get my hands on it. I do have some broad areas set up for things like recipes, either family ones that have been passed down or ones that that I've collected online. It's just so much easier than having a big cookbook with scribbles in. There's also things like receipts and warranty cards. So I've got a record of the stuff that I bought, what I paid for them, and which of them are about to come out of warranty. Something I'm really proud of that I recently set up is a big collection to track all my subscriptions to various apps and services. I don't know if you've ever laid yours out like this, but when I did, the total number terrified me and I immediately canceled quite a few of them. And likewise, I do the same for all the household 
household services we have for things like utilities and insurance, that sort of thing, so that we have one place to go for getting things like ID numbers and also when all the expiry dates are coming up. I've got tasks connected to these to remind me to start shopping for new deals before the auto renew kicks in every year. Uh, another thing that I use this space for, so my kids often get spoiled rotten at Christmas and birthdays, so it's always really helpful to track who bought them what over the year so that we can send thank you notes. And while we're talking about gifts, if I ever see a nice idea for something, I keep a little running document for ideas for family and friends so that I don't forget about them. So a lot of people have asked me why I switched from Notion and my honest reflection after about 12 months or so with Craft is that Notion is powerful, but it also got really overwhelming towards the end as I was spending more time setting it up to work for me than I was actually getting stuff done. And I barely touched on this, but Craft also had AI built in at no extra cost, unlike Notion, and it's really, really helpful. Look how fast it summarized this meeting transcript for me. Craft syncs faster, it feels lighter, and is way more useful to me on a daily basis. And there's just so many ways that you can set it up, as I hope you've seen here. You see, to me, when Craft first arrived on the scene, it was more of a kind of pretty looking notes app, but now the developers have integrated loads of new features and it's definitely a fully functioning second brain system and I would be completely lost without it. Now, obviously no system is perfect, but this is the first one that I've actually stuck to and it's helped me condense all my productivity apps into one space. So rather than having separate diary apps, to-do apps, knowledge management and handwritten note apps, they all just live here in Craft. Happy days. If you want to give Craft a try, grab the daily note template in the description and just start from there. You can try it for free and there is a plus model, which is a paid monthly subscription. The lovely team at Craft have actually put together a massive 40% reoccurring discount code. If you use my link, that's 40% off for life and probably one of the best deals I've ever run on this channel. As always, let me know in the comments if you've got any questions about any of the stuff that I've covered here. And by the way, I have been comboing Craft with a great little summary tool recently. You can find out more about it as well as a cheeky fact about Albert Einstein right up here. See you next time, folks.